Hi and welcome back. In our last video we went ahead and took a look at how to create some simple hyperlinks between pages in our website. In this video what I want to do is show you how to create two more kinds of links. A mail link that will open up an email window and um, a link that will open up a PDF file or another kind of document. Now for this exercise what I'm going to go ahead and do is you can see I've got my test site right here and we've got the items we've been working with. I'm going to go ahead and right click right up here and I'm going to say new file and I'm just going to go ahead and name this one test. You can name it whatever you want and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I just want a, a blank web page to work with right now. And I'm just going to very simply go ahead and type um, link to PDF and you can type whatever you want there. I just need some text and then I'm going to go ahead and type email me and we're going to make both of these items into different links. So I'm going to first off going to go ahead and highlight this text that says link to PDF and again I'm going to come down here into my properties panel and you can see my hyperlink or my link box. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click on this browse file button here and when you do that you're going to go have to go find the location that that PDF file is in. Again it can be anywhere on your computer at all. In my case I've created a folder here called basic class files and you can see there's a bunch of files in there and there's a PDF. I could do this exact same process to link to a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet. The one thing you do need to remember though is that even though somebody can download something it doesn't necessarily mean they can open it up. They have to have the correct reader in order to open the file up. In the case of a PDF, they'd need um, Adobe Acrobat Reader. In the case of um, a Word document, they would need some sort of program that would allow them to open up a Word document or if you were doing an Excel file, an Excel document. So I'm going to go ahead and click that right there and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now that file that we just chose, the PDF document, was actually in a folder on my desktop. It wasn't in the web folder that we created at the beginning for our actual website. So Dreamweaver here is warning us. It's saying the file you've selected is outside of the root folder test site. It's not in this folder and may not be accessible when you publish the site. Your root folder is this. Do you want to copy the PDF document there? And yes, you always want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes it's going to bring up the save file as or copy file as dialog box and you can see I'm in my test folder I'm going to go ahead and click save there and it will save that PDF document into your folder at the same time that it creates the link right up here now you probably noticed that the PDF document didn't appear here what you need to do is if um, a document is not appearing you can go ahead and click on the refresh button and that's right here and I get that mixed up with the synchronize button all the time but refresh is right there when I click on that you'll see it appears there it was always there it's just this window didn't update itself so now we have a link to a PDF document so when our visitor clicks on that it'll open up the PDF for them now the second kind of link that I want to go ahead and create in this video is an email link. And you've probably seen before used um, links on web pages that when you click on them, instead of opening a web page up, it actually creates a new email message. Now this will only work with what's called pop clients. It won't work with webmail clients like Hotmail or Yahoo Mail or Gmail. So you're going to do a couple different things here. First off, to create the email link, you're going to go ahead and highlight that and then you're going to come down into the link box right here. Now clicking this little folder icon or using this point to file as we've done before will allow us to select a file that's on our computer or in our website. In this case, again, it isn't a file that we want to open up. We want to create a new email message so the person can send this to us. So I'm going to go ahead and type mail to M-A-I-L-T-O and then a colon. So you can think about that like HTTP colon. It's just the prefix that tells the browser what kind of action this link 
is requesting. Now the one difference between this and a, a regular link is you don't need HTTP colon and then the forward slash forward slash. This is just mail to and then a colon. And then you can go ahead and type in your email address. And in my case I'll go ahead and type mine in there. And then you just hit enter. And now when somebody clicks on that link it will go ahead and open up um, a new email window. Now again, this is only going to work with programs like Microsoft Outlook or Eudora or Apple Mail or something like that. Excuse me. So if your visitor is using something like Hotmail or Gmail, when they click on this here, they're just going to get an error. So after that, what I always do is type the email address. And some people prefer to put it inside of parentheses. or maybe with a dash after it, but that way people that use a webmail program like Gmail can highlight the email address with their cursor and they'll be able to copy and paste it into a message. And you could have made this entire thing a mail to link just simply by highlighting the whole thing coming down in here to the link box and typing in mail to colon, remember no forward slashes, and then just the email address that you want this to go to. In my case it's Gmail and I'll hit enter and now that entire item is a link. So really easy to create a link to a document such as a PDF or a link to um, open up a new email message right here. Only thing you have to remember is the visitor has to have the proper program installed to open the document and you need to be aware that um, this link will only work when you click on it if somebody's using a program like Outlook or Eudora or Apple Mail. It won't work with webmail clients that you open up in a browser like Hotmail or Yahoo or Gmail. And that's the reason why I place the actual address after that.